Hello and welcome to another video on the Cypress Tips and Tricks series. By the end of this video, you will have learned how you can make your tests in Cypress less dry and even more scalable with the use of URLs. And I may know what you're thinking, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you at least one way of using URLs that you don't know. So you will also know, or you will learn, two URLs where you can practice test automation. So let's get started. We're here on the RESTful Booker platform, and here you can make bookings. And it's really good to practice your UI automation. Why is it really good? Well, this site here comes together with an API. So anything you make on this level or on the UI side, you can actually check on API level. You have a couple of endpoints, which are really well documented here. So you can get the bookings, you can create bookings, update bookings, delete bookings, and so forth. So what we're going to do in our tests, we're going to create one test here. So we're going to be Sally phone number, add a test booking, test one, two, three, another test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're going to submit it. Perfect. So in the RESTful Booker API, if we wanted to check uh, the booking, we have either way to check bookings based on ID, or we will have a filter. And I have the endpoint here. So if I do this, I get nothing because I don't have any first name Sally and last name Brown, but it also works. Um, did I write it correctly? Let's see. Yeah, now I did. So Sally with capital S. So you see, we have, or we can confirm that our booking is stored in the database. So let's see how we can do this on Cypress level. So in Cypress, I have the code written for you. If you want, just message me and I'll provide you with the code. If not, you can write the code yourself. So we have three tests here for our URL test. The first one visits the site and checks that the text is welcome to RESTful Booker. And the second one visits the site again and check and does entering of name, phone, email, subject, and then checks that um, we get this greeting message. And last but not least, we have an API call to the endpoint and it just checks that the response body is uh, not null and that it equals the response status equals 200. If you want to use ci.api uh, yourself, there's another video in the series where I show you how you can do that. But as you can see here, so we're repeating ourselves from time to time. I mean, we do ci visit, ci visit, and it's kind of getting annoying here. So one way of doing it, and the, let's say the most known way of doing this is by using a base URL. So if we go to our Cypress JSON and we have here base URL, so we can define our base URL as being this URL, the main URL. Let's save it. And if we have a base URL defined, instead of doing ci.visit, we can just do this slash so it will automatically go to base url slash anything so if we would have slash uh, bookings we, uh, cypress will know to take this url and do slash bookings so we did it there and let's see if it still works so i have a cypress here let's start it and if we're lucky it won't work if we're not lucky it will work 
Yeah, it didn't work. And the reason is, well, I wrote the base URL incorrectly. So base URL, one second, U R and L. Okay, we save it here. And then we'll go again. And this time I'm expecting the test to actually pass. So the booking, perfect. Okie dokie, perfect. But, so we still have here, we have um, visit and the whole URL, and here we have another URL. So another way of doing this, um, of course, we do have the possibility here to just do slash, and this will work. Let's see. Stop Cypress and we run it again. Yes, it's working. But if you do not want to do that, there's another way to use a URL. And that is, you would add the URL actually here in your it block. So all that we did before, you can add it right here. So base URL here. And let's see if this works. And it still does work. If you don't believe me that it takes that part, well, then let's just change something here and rerun it. And as you can see, it goes to this URL. So it, it ignores the base URL defined in our Cypress JSON and actually goes to the base URL that we have defined here. Uh, how was it? It was automation. Perfect. Good. Um, now, in our case with the URL, with this one, we see um, with the API URL, it's a totally different URL. So we cannot do slash and first booking Sally. Um, but what we can do is we can, in our Cypress JSON, we can define some environments. And in the environments, we can define some URLs. So we can say API URL. And here we can do either this whole URL just for testing purposes. Pum, 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 pum. Or we can just define a part of the URL. I mean, the part would be definitely more suitable. And I don't know, let's say also, um, that's the API and then we do it in the front end URL. Or, and there we would have this URL here. So now we can, if we want, we can use, I mean, I'll show you how to use API URL. Uh, and But you can, of course, use the front end URL instead of um, the slash in your tests. So here, so we have the URL and we do cypress.nv and in cypress.nv we do API URL. So let's see if I wrote it correctly. And if we run the tests, hopefully this will work. So the booking still works. That is good. The make booking still works. And uh, yes, perfect. So there you have it. These were three ways of defining APIs Oh, sorry, not API, defining URLs to use in your Cypress tests. As always, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.